Welcome to the CKA Certification Series Part 5, in this video we will cover some pod troubleshooting scenarios. The next question is, deploy a pod with the following specifications. Pod name should be WebPod, the image should be HTTPD and it should be scheduled on Node 01. We have no permission to change anything on Worker Node as well as Master Nodes, this question weightage is 6%, which means it is not an easy question. Let's try to solve the question. Let's create a pod. Pod is created. You can see, the pod is created but its status is pending. Why it is pending, we have to find the reason. There are many reasons why a pod might be in a pending state. Here are some of the most common, it can be due to insufficient resources, node unavailability, image pull failures, scheduling constraints etc. To troubleshoot a pending pod and to get more information about the pod's status, we can use the kubectl describe pod command. Here we can see an error related to taint and toleration, which means nodes have some taints. In Kubernetes, a taint is a way to mark a node so that it can only be scheduled to pods that have a matching toleration. Taints are used to control the scheduling of pods on nodes and can be used to achieve a variety of goals, such as preventing pods from being scheduled to certain nodes, evicting pods from nodes, etc. Taints and tolerations are a powerful way to control the scheduling of pods on nodes. By using taints and tolerations, you can ensure that your pods are only scheduled to nodes that meet your specific requirements. By using this command, we can see the taints of node 01. You can see the taints in node 01, we can either remove this taint, or we can use toleration in pod configuration, in order to schedule the pod in node 01, but in the question, they clearly said, never do any changes in master and worker nodes, so we have to use toleration in the pod configuration. In this taint we can see two keys and two values, that is effect is no schedule and key is node role.kubernetes slash node. If we need to deploy a pod in this node then we need to make a toleration in our pod configuration against this taint. Go to the documentation and search for taint. In this documentation we can see how to taint a node. For toleration, we have to use these settings. Let's delete the pod.
Just add the toleration under the spec area. We have to find the key from Taint first, so let's save and exit. This is the key, just copy the value and paste in the YAML file. Paste against a key, rest of all is same, that is, effect equal to schedule, so we don't need to touch anywhere. Let's recreate again. Yes, pod is creating, within few seconds it will schedule in node. Okay it is working. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video we will cover a few more troubleshooting questions, if you felt this video is useful then please like and subscribe.